Hello, welcome to our LinkedIn Live on preventing teacher burnout. My name is Wendy Glaser, and I am so excited to introduce Max Newland. Max is the president of BrainCo, a brain computer interface BCI company that was incubated in the Harvard Innovation Lab. BrainCo develops fundamental BCI technology to unlock human potential. Max has spent the last decade studying cognitive science and neuroscience, human development, and mind-body approaches to wellness and performance. Before BrainCo, he earned his master's degree from Harvard University and conducted fMRI research at some of the best hospitals in the world on the impact of meditation and yoga on the brain, as well as the impact of invasive BCI technology on people with Parkinson's disease. Now, as president of BrainCo, he leads a visionary team that is bringing BCI technology to the world so that millions of people can benefit from the next tech revolution that will unlock human potential. With that, I pass it over to Max. Thanks, Wendy, for that warm introduction. And I'm so excited to be with everyone today as we cover this really important topic, which is achieving educator wellness through neuroscience. The fact of the matter is even before COVID, Almost a quarter million teachers were leaving the profession, and now things are unfortunately even uh, even worse. About half of the teachers in this country are thinking about leaving their jobs, and a lot of districts are facing something really difficult, which is a 20% or even more vacancy in jobs as they're looking to replace these educators. And this this issue is is really fundamental because it's not like a snapshot or like a one little problem that we need to fix. It's really creating this, this vicious cycle of more burnout, more stress on the educators. It affects their job performance. It creates less engagement in the classroom and then student outcomes start to drop. And then that puts more pressure on the administrators and the teachers in schools. And this kind of cycle just continues. So it's this really, really big problem. And I think it's it's so important for so many reasons. Uh, it's really hard to overestimate the impact of of this issue in this country and globally. But if we look at if we look at our country here, I think you know educators are such passionate people, and from a mission perspective, want the best for their students. And if we're unable to solve this problem of teacher burnout, we're not going to be able to do that job. I think even from a, a, a moral perspective, we all know teachers. You guys are either educators yourself or you certainly know educators. We have a moral obligation to take care of our teachers. They do such an important function and job uh, in, in, in so many of our lives. So many people have memories of teachers in middle school, elementary school, or high school that really had a positive impact. I think we have an obligation to do something about uh, this really terrible terrible burnout and levels of stress that we're seeing in the education space. And then if we zoom out even, even bigger, the big picture of this problem is it's going to affect long-term outcomes for our communities. If our students are unable to benefit from well-rested, focused, and engaged educators, obviously it's going to have an impact on their education, which is going to have downstream effects on, on our communities. So we have to do something about this, right? Like it's very, very clear that from many perspectives, we need some sort of solution to teacher burnout. We need some sort of solution to increasing the wellness of educators, both teachers and administrators. And if you're like a lot of people out there, you've probably heard this advice. Exercise more, try to sleep better, you know, maybe try the, that meditation thing. Uh, but we're here to say that while everyone is trying to earnestly solve this problem and we applaud those efforts. We don't feel like there's been enough focus on this space. I think if, um, you know, if we look around our, our society, we see innovation in uh, all different areas, but we have yet to see real innovation in handling this really big problem, even in corporate wellness, like the corporate wellness space, we see innovation and trying to help these companies. But, you know, guess what? Teachers are, are in a lot of ways more important than 
where these other innovations are taking place. So we want to solve this. And we have spent the past six years innovating in the neuroscience space. So the company was incubated in the Harvard Innovation Lab, and we have launched neurotechnology innovations that have allowed amputees to control their prosthetic devices more accurately and with better dexterity than uh, anything else that's currently available. We've used our neuroscience principles and expertise to create STEM solutions for classrooms, to teach students about themselves, teach them about the brain, teach them about science, technology, engineering, and math. And now our latest application of neurotechnology is to help people achieve better focus and a calmer mind. And this, this project, Focus Calm, actually started with professional athletes. Um, we were working with them on helping them deal with the really high pressure situations of having to perform in these really high pressure environments. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's not difficult to understand why being a professional athlete would really put a lot of pressure on someone's, you know, mental abilities to focus and to relax. And at the same time, we started to see how this was not something that was only true for professional athletes. We started to notice that this was true for so many other people. So with a few tweaks, we we're able to deliver the same type of elite brain training that uh, NBA players do, MLB players do, even Olympic athletes do. Uh, we're really close partners with the United States bobsled team. So if you guys were watching the, the Beijing Olympics, uh, most of the, the USA bobsled and skeleton team are focus calm users and they use the product to uh, perform their best and take care of their their mental well-being. And again, the insight was, well, why don't we take the same technology that we've been able to prove in a variety of settings and bring it to a, a broader audience? So by now, uh, maybe I have your attention. Maybe this seems like something that might interest you. The question that's probably coming up is, okay, well, how does this work? Uh, so here's the, the quick primer on, on neurotechnology and focus calm. So your brain has about 100 billion neurons, and one way in which they communicate is through electrical signals. So right now, your brain is producing all this electrical activity, and it makes its way to your scalp. So right now on your forehead, there are these little subtle electrical signals uh, that, that are a representation of your, your brain activity. And we're using EEG technology. This type of head cap might look familiar. Um, oftentimes there's pictures of people with like wires coming off their head for different research studies or sleep studies or to understand people with different neurological conditions. Um, and that, that technology has been established for a while. It's used in tens of thousands of, of research studies. And that, the output is, is, is interesting for research. The output looks like one of those graphs on the right. Um, and unless you're a neurologist, uh, you probably can't make much sense of that. Um, even the, the neurologists get help from different computational models. So one way in which that we can make this information a little bit more usable is to break it down into frequency bands. And maybe this looks a little familiar to some of you guys, but the, the frequency bands have names like delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. And they represent big chunks of data from your brain waves that oftentimes have certain similarities. You might see more slow wave activity while you're sleeping and more fast wave activity while you're really highly engaged. And a lot of the algorithms out there, uh, one really good example is the NASA engagement index, use these frequency bands to calculate different cognitive states. The NASA engagement index uses three of these features. So they use three features to calculate engagement. And it, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good way to understand what's going on in the brain. But one of the innovations we've made is using machine learning and artificial intelligence and take into consideration not three features, but over a thousand features per second to quantify brain states in a much more accurate way. And also makes that data way more usable and uh, way more relevant to a lot of people's goals. So with our headband and our algorithm, we can quantify your brain state and give it to you in a really simple format. So it's a zero to 100 score where 100 means your brain looks very calm, very at ease, and very relaxed. And a low score means your brain looks 
busy, active, or maybe even stressed. And while you're using the app, which I'll show you uh, in a couple of slides, you're seeing your, your focus calm score change second by second. And you get a sense for what helps you relax and what doesn't. And seeing your score, even just a, the simple act of seeing your score connects you with your internal state. Then on top of that, we provide all different types of training like meditation, breathing exercises, different brain games to give you those skills or that toolbox so you can learn what it feels like to relax. You see it reflected in your focus calm score and you can practice these different techniques to reduce that stress, reduce that anxiety, reduce that burnout. And the, the good news is we've proven this a number of times with a variety of populations. Uh, we've proven this with educators in schools. Uh, we've proven this with different types of companies. We've proven this with professional athletes. And we see the, the same types of results over and over again. It's less burnout, better well-being, less anxiety. And there's a clear correlation between using the product more and seeing more benefits. And this is the one of the big ideas one of the big ideas is just like training any skill, the more you train of the skill of relaxing your mind, the better you get at it. And I, I guess, of course, it makes sense. The better you get at relaxing your mind, the better you're going to feel. So at the end of the day, Focus Calm is about training your brain to feel better, to be less stressed, work on your attention and focus abilities, and be able to deal with high pressure situations with more grace and more ease. And our research studies have proven that as little as using focus calm 20 times can produce st statistically significant outcomes. And the sessions are anywhere from, you know, five to 15 minutes doing this little brain training a few times per week can make a really significant impact on your, your health and well being. So um, one of the, the questions that we often get was, is how do we differentiate ourselves from the meditation apps out there? We think meditation is really important. Uh, in fact, meditation is a big, part of the focus calm platform we just don't think that's the whole story there are a number of ways to achieve that state of wellness meditation is one of them the other really unique thing about what we're trying to provide to people is more confidence more certainty and more scientific approach to these wellness goals a lot of people will do meditation and after 20 minutes ask themselves did i do that right did that do anything you know what was the benefit from from doing those meditations and the nice thing about Focus Calm is because you're wearing this headband, you're measuring what's actually going on as you do these practices. So you can be confident you're getting the benefits and you can also see what types of meditations work best for you. And just a, a quick note on the headband, the way it works is by, again, passively measuring the activity that your brain is naturally producing. So there's nothing going into your mind or into your brain it's kind of like a heart rate monitor for your brain. So we're just passively measuring what your brain's producing. And based on those signals, we can tell if your mind looks relaxed or if your mind looks a little busy or a little stressed. So let me show you guys what the, the app actually looks like. So you can put on your, your Focus Calm headband and then you will start your app. And I'll show you a recording of what the app interface looks like. So as soon as you put the headband on, you'll see your focus calm score. Again, a high score means really relaxed. A low score means a little active or busy mind. And on the homepage, we have all different types of content that we recommend to you. So you can learn how to relax your mind. You can practice being at ease and you can practice your focus abilities. Our programs help you solve specific issues like sleeping better or dealing with distractions. And the programs are these curated experiences that take about 15 minutes to teach you to relax, help you practice, and help you build these different cognitive abilities. And each program has a, a different theme to help you deal with different scenarios you might encounter. Our calm games are really, really cool. I'll show you one later in real time. But in our calm games, you're using your brain to make the rocket ship go higher or make the campfire grow. And you're practicing entering that state of relaxation. Our focus games target your working memory, sustained attention, decision-making processing speed. They really help you develop those types of skills. Our meditations, similar to our programs, target specific needs like productivity or dealing with uncertainty or getting relief from anxiety. Our breathing content shows you the proper biomechanics of breathing for better focus and more calm. And our soothing stories are nice to listen to if you just want to de-stress. All the data 
uh, is stored privately on your profile page. So you can see how you're improving over time. You can see different analytics and trends. And if you're part of a team, uh, you can also see different team level data. The tracker is a really cool way for people that want to experiment with their own meditations, get more insights and analytics to see how they're doing. It's a really great way to uh, tinker and experiment. And like I was mentioning about the, the team side of things, uh, if you're part of a team, you can see how, how you are together improving over time. Uh, we also have a way to track your emotional well-being through our wellness calendar, which is a nice way to see how that correlates with your brain training. And we also have an assessment that provides a nice baseline and also takes you through the different key terms we use in Focus Calm, like Focus Calm depth, speed, and consistency. So, you know, overall, what we're really trying to do is provide a low lift, easy to implement technology approach to well being that's measurable. So, here's one of my, my calm games that I was playing earlier today. And in this game, the more I relax my mind, the higher the rocket ship's gonna go. So I'm not using my, my hands at all to play this. I would just be putting on the headband. And the more I relax my mind, use those meditation techniques that I learned from the teachers in the app, the higher the rocket ship's going to go. So you'll see, I'll start to relax my mind a little bit from this clip that I recorded before. My focus calm score starts to go up. The rocket ship starts to go up. And what I'm doing is entering that state of focus calm, just like I learned from the meditation teachers or the breathing coaches. And the headband is picking up the signal as I do that. So, you know, the moral of the, of the, or the crux of what we're really going for is a scientific approach to, to well being, quantifying these types of outcomes um, and not just paying lip service to making improvements, but making measurable improvements for our teachers. So the, the value or the, the outcome is less burnout, less anxiety. Uh, and at the end of the day, better retention, you know, keeping teachers engaged in what they're doing and giving them a tool to solve this important problem. Let them get back to the thing that they love, which is educating and not feel overwhelmed with all the stress that comes with what they're doing right now. And ultimately it also helps the administrators focus on what they need to get done too. So if this is something that you're interested in, um, our team will be reaching out. If you'd like to get in touch with us immediately, you can email us at teacher at focuscom.com. We're gonna be sharing some special educational pricing with all of you guys. There's really importantly, no reoccurring subscription costs. So we keep the, the model really, really simple. And if any of you are interested in a free demo or pilot, we're more than happy to set that up with your school. So I hope you guys got a little bit uh, understanding or knowledge about the brain and, and how we can measure it and also how simple it can be to make this change. In a few minutes a day, you can get a better sense of focus and calm. And this is a really easy to use, user-friendly approach for educators and a proven way to get a lot of benefits that I think people individually are looking for. And from our perspective, we want to, to aid in the resolution of this global issue of teacher burnout. I wanna thank you guys for your attention and time today. Uh, like I mentioned, the team will be reaching out and we'll provide some avenues for asking questions and connecting with you in a further way. Thank you guys again. Thank you very much.